What do you think I'm doing? You can't figure that out for yourself, Slayer? I didn't realize what? that you'd been turned. Yeah, well, you know, there's a lot of that going around town. Huh. Wait, wait a minute, when did this happen? No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. I'm looking for Allison. Mm. Joshua took her, and if you're working for him, then you know where she is. Well, I can't help you with that, my brother. Have a good day. You trying to impress me? You know where she is, don't you? So start talking! Look, I don't answer to you, Slayer. I never have, and I sure as hell ain't gonna start answering to you now. Okay, you know what? I might want to rethink that, vampire. Because they don't call me Slayer for nothing. How is it that you were friends with my father? My mother worked for your family as a domestic. She was a housekeeper. Really? Yes, and your father and I were the only two youngsters of a like age on that vast estate, so we were constant companions. We were the very best of friends. It's funny, because he never mentioned you, ever. Well, I'm not surprised. As we grew older, things changed. He started to treat me less of a friend and more of a servant. When his real friends were around, he had me banished to quarters. Wow, that's, that's so awful. It's but I wouldn't give up. I so wanted his friendship, his approval. I wanted to be a part of his group. But the more that I tried, the more impossible it became. You see, he was very much upstairs, and I was downstairs, and never the twin shall meet. Go on, and, and then? Well, then one day, I decided to stop trying. One day, I really did just give up. And on that day, I convinced myself that I only needed two things in this world. One was money, and the other was power. Money to buy the friends that I wanted, and power over the people that tried to put me down. Power to tell them all to go to hell, like your father, Malcolm. That's the lesson he taught me. I'd say he taught me rather well, wouldn't you? Is that why you decided to kill him? What? Oh, don't play stupid with me. I know that was part of the original plan all along, yours and Caleb's. To kill my father so that my mother would have no choice but to come back to Port Charles and then you would take it from there. I did not kill your father. I don't believe you. Malcolm was my friend. I loved him like I would love a brother. Whatever harm came to him was nothing to do with me. Are you finished yet? Because I think that's the biggest lie I've ever heard. But I'll tell you what I do think is true. I'm guessing that you lived in some sort of little town in England. Some average, middle-class family, small little town, I'm guessing maybe Birmingham or Bristol, right? Some sort of gray industrial town that you feared that you'd never escape from, but you were determined to do so. And once you perfected that snotty little demeanor of yours, you started to worm your way into people's lives, people that could help you climb to the, to the top of the ladder. But once you got to be king and you got to reign, you were so, so bittersweet. Because you knew that no matter how much money or power you actually obtained, you would never achieve the one thing that you say that you don't want. And that's love. Well, you're not only beautiful, but you're incredibly perceptive. Bristol, as a matter of fact. The truth finally surfaces. Is that so painful? More than you'll ever know. I'm sorry, Jamal. But I did warn you. I must remember to praise young Jamal. He's helped me enormously. 